Hey, first grade, today we are going to continue learning numbers to 40. We're actually going to review a skill you've already learned in the classroom. We're going to use a number line today to count on and to count back. In the classroom, we went up to the number 20. Today, we're going to build on that and we're going to go all the way up to the number 40. So let's look at some examples. If you remember back learning to use a number line, counting on and counting back, we learned that when you see the words more than, that we count on. So here it's asking to find two more than 27. So we use 27 as our starting number, and then we count on from 27. Over here you see that we're gonna count on two more. This is our hopping number. How many times we're going to hop? So we're gonna count up one, two, landing on the number 29. Or we can count it as starting off on the 27, we count 28, 29. 29 is two more than 27. On the right, the example over here, here we're finding two less than 38. So we're going to use 38 as our starting number. We're going to count back because we see the words less than, and that means we want to count back. So we start at 38, and we count back from 38. One, two hops, landing on the number 36. Or again, we can count it starting on the number 38. We count it as 37, 36. 36 is two less than 38. Now let's do a few practice together. Blank is two more than 22. So first we're gonna bring in the number line. We're gonna use 22 as our starting point. So I've circled that in red to kind of color code this for you. And so down on the number line, I'm starting on the number 22. The words more than means we're gonna hop forward on the number line. We're gonna count on. So we're going to move to the right when we hop. And the number two is our hopping number. So I've used green for a frog since frogs hop and we're going to just hop up that number line two spaces. So starting at 22 we're going to count one hop, two hops, or we count as 23 and we land on 24. 24 is two more than 22. Let's try another one. Blank is five more than 35. So again, we're gonna bring that number line in. Our red circle represents our starting point. Blank is five more than. That means this number has to be greater than 35. So we are going to count on on the number line. We're gonna actually count our five hops because we wanna know five more than 35. So starting on 35, we count 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. That's five hops landing on the number 40. So 40 is five more than 35. Let's try a few less than. So on the less than, again, we have our starting number circled in red, so we're gonna to go to 31 on the number line. Less than means that we need to count back. So we're gonna to go to the left, and you see the arrow is pointing to the left, because that's which direction we're going to hop. Our hopping number is three. So we're gonna start on 31, we're gonna count back three hops. Here we go, one, two, three, and we landed on the number, 28. 28 is three less than 31. Now for the last one, I've moved things around a little to show you that even if the words are in a different order, we still are gonna solve it in the same way. So on the last one, our starting number was the last thing in the sentence. This time it's in the middle. So we are gonna start on the number 38 and we wanna find four less than 38. So I see the words less than, that reminds me I'm going to count back. And this time my hopping number is starting the sentence. So our hopping number is going to be four. We want four less than 38. So starting at the, the 38 on the number line, we're gonna count back one, two, three, and we land on 34. Four less than 38 is 
34. Now it's your turn, first grade. So grab your whiteboard and marker or your pencil and paper, whichever you're going to use today. I leave, I'm leaving this number line here for you to use on the screen. So once I, I'm done explaining, you're going to pause the video and you can use this number line. Or if it's easier for you to make your own number line, I want you to make sure that you start at the number 20 and go up to the number 30. Those are the only numbers you're going to need for the first couple questions here. You're only going to do four on this slide, and then there's some more on the next slide. So number to four on your paper or your whiteboard. And here are your, your sentences. I want you to write out a whole sentence. I don't want you to, to write the, the one number answer. I want you to write the complete sentence using a period at the end. I have one more little trick for you to help you out. And that is I have put in some little helpers so that you know how to solve these. Remember the red circle is your starting point. The arrow tells you which direction you're hopping and your hopping number has your frog in, in circled in green. So that can help you out today. Go ahead and complete numbers one through four and then you'll come back here to check your work. All right, so go ahead and pause the video and get to work. And welcome back first grade. Here are your answers. Go ahead and check your work. You can pause the video if you need to again and check numbers one through four. And then when you're done, you're going to go ahead and erase your work. Or if you're using a piece of paper, then you can just move on where there's more space. And you're going to numbers five through eight this time. And you have a different number line. So if you were using a number line before that you wrote out, you're going to have to write out a new one. This time you're starting on 30 and you're going up to 40. Or you can use the number line that's on the screen. Here are your sentences that you're going to write out. Again, write them in complete sentences. Don't forget the period. When you're done with this, you can come back. And here's your little clues to help you. You can go ahead and pause the video and come back to check your work. And welcome back first grade. Here are your answers. Make sure you go ahead and check your work. If you got them all correct, great job. If you got a few wrong, not a problem. An error is not a terror. And we will con continue to work through these um, throughout the week. So I uh, hope you had fun today and I'll see you soon.